everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how I do kind of like a daisy inspired flower but it's really not a not a common daisy it's just kind of whimsical but I'm going to be using two a magic flat brushes a 14 and a 12 number eight dear foot stippler and my lovely fine liner by Westonia Paints I use always are folk art paints. I use moon yellow, a little bit of burnt umber, and then I have three colors that are kind of similar. I mean, they're in the same color family, but uh, I use aqua, calypso sky, and one called patina. And then I'm using wicker white, my thicket and happy green all right let's go ahead and get started now I'm going to start by using my deerfoot stippler and I'm basically going to put a little bit of the yellow in the back end a little bit of the brown in the front and then I'll come over here and just tap in a little bit of the white I have a little bit of water in this because I actually just completed my paper sample but anyways just uh, to give you some idea okay we're going to tap down here and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these centers okay just not and I did not actually go back over them when I created this design I, I'll see if I need to or not but they're just going to be like this just very very easy and that's it that's all I'm doing Anybody can do that. You can tap down, you can do it. Take the number 14. All right, going to put one side into the aqua, and then I have the Clipso Sky and the Patina, a little bit of white. And I'm just doing quick blending strokes. Nothing, nothing difficult, because then everybody always wonders. That's it, that's all I'm doing. All right, let's go up here. Let me make sure you can see. I'm just on the chisel edge and I'm pulling towards the center. If you need to add more as you go, just keep doing it because I want my petals to be pretty darn opaque. And they are. So I'm pulling towards the center. Very simple brush stroke. Just put it down, push and pull. Put it down, push and pull. Put it down, push and pull, and I'm intentionally leaving space in between my petals. I like this look, and it's just kind of a, hey, I'm here kind of flower. All right, gonna come over here, do the same thing. Now I can pull them out, make them different lengths. I kind of like that look as well. Depending on the amount of pressure you place on your brush, that will indicate the size of your petal. And of course, wherever you start as far as pulling it towards the center will determine how long, sorry if I hit the camera there, how long the petal will be. And come over here and do the same thing. Push it down more and it's bigger. Short strokes, big strokes, similar strokes. Just, just relax and have fun. That's all you need to do is just relax. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be. And I wanted to sneak another one in there, so I did. I'm not even counting the petals. I don't care how many petals you have on your flower. Make it yours. And just keep going. So I say, if you're new to my channel, I always like to try to remind people my designs are intended to be great for beginner painters. If you are someone that's more experienced and you can do a lot more with it, then do it. You know, if you want to use my my designs as just a kind of an inspiration of where to start with, feel free to do that. All right, there we go. Now, you could just leave it like this. It's kind of pretty. Just leave it, leave it alone. However, you know me, 
I'm going to stick my my little fine liner into some colors here. I can stick it into white, yellow. I just just keep sticking it back and forth as you're creating, just to create some differences in color. Give it some interest. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna come down here, and then I'll probably just swing it back. Doesn't matter. I could have chosen a different. I could have come up this way. Anyway, it's fine. Whatever you decide to do. I'm gonna just come down here. We're just pretending here. Again, I go over my items just to make sure that they are a little bit thick because that makes them more durable, the better your coverage. You know how people say something about the paint falling off, which I'm not sure exactly what that means because it doesn't just fall off. If it's thinly painted, it can scratch, you know, if you, with movement or being touched, you know, if you scrape it but it's not just going to fall off. And I do bake mine. If you bake yours, which I do recommend, just make sure you put it in a cold oven, then turn the oven on to preheat. That's a big deal. Now what I'm doing right now is putting my one side into the thicket, one side into the happy green, put a little bit of yellow in it, and just do some blending. If you don't want any yellow in it, just leave it alone. All right, so this kind of, I'm just gonna use the flat brush. This is the number 12. And I'm just pushing and pulling, or tapping down, I guess. Kind of like I did the flowers. And just pulling towards the, now you can do more of a side pull. Creates a totally different look. Again, if you wanna do more of the side, you just do it like this. If you put it down like this, you're going to have more of a rounded shape. So just know, you can vary it as you're creating. And we'll just have one that comes in here. Another one comes out like that. And it's fine to go over the flowers that you're already, that you've already painted. Makes it more of a realistic type design because when you're doing a bouquet nothing's going to be perfectly you know you're gonna have things that are overlapping and that's fine okay if you want you can come through here with with your brush and just put in some other extra leaves throughout the design if you like it with just the stem then just leave it with just the stem being painted before I'm adding the extra ones if you know my painting by now you know I like my leaves so I'm probably going to be the person that adds some extra into it now you can just leave it like this which is what I intended to do or if you feel like you need to come back in and add some more to the centers because a lot of times I will do that and just come back in here because you might have gotten some you know pulled in some of the from the petals some of the stems you can do that and just finish it up this way or just let it be because it's okay either way and I just want it to be just kind of a messy center don't want it to be precise all right very quick and easy don't you think I like it I hope you like it too if you do make sure you give me a big thumbs up new to my channel please subscribe hit that notification bell and prior to leaving if you would take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends I would greatly appreciate it. Just hit the share button you'll find underneath the video and you'll be good to go. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one. Bye.